All right, now breaking news coming in. Israel is holding a press conference about an hour after the launch. Questions? Questions? Any questions? Okay, okay. Now I request the media people to start with a question. No, like we said last time, what happened also was uh, actually when all the external parameters have gone to one extreme. So typically, if you take any process, you have a distribution, and most of the time, the disturbances are within three sigma. It was one peculiar case where it had gone up to almost six sigma. So because of that, it was a very marginal deviation which created that problem. But notwithstanding that, what we did is we went through a rigorous process of analyzing and now we have made the system much more robust and compared to earlier six sigma, whatever would have been earlier six sigma, now we have brought it to only one sigma. So there is a significant improvement in the whole process. And as you have seen uh, in this particular mission, the heat shield separation, everything went off as planned. And we have been able to put all the 30 satellites into its orbit. And the overall performance of the PSLV, which is being progressively built to take more and more complex missions, so in this particular mission, for example, after putting 30 satellites into 505 kilometers, we are bringing the microsat to a 359 kilometer orbit. So this requires multiple operations of the fourth stage restarting because from 500 kilometers you reduce the altitude first to one perigee to 359 and the apogee also has to be further reduced to make it circular. So multiple burns. So now the PSLV's capability of putting multiple satellites into orbit and satellites into multiple orbit. So both of them are being done in a single mission practically. So progressively PSLV has better and better capabilities. That's why you also saw, though there was a failure last time, 28 customer satellites, they had the confidence that PSLV will function satisfactorily. So that's how they had the confidence and then we carried those 28 satellites also along with our other three satellites. So. Primarily what we have to really appreciate is launch vehicle technology is always a very complex thing. In spite of hundreds of successes, you can still have failures. So we have to be prepared for such a thing. That's why it's called a very risky business. And you have seen even in the recent past, there were many other failures in other launch vehicle systems also. So what we need to really understand is each time the make the system more and more robust, learn from whatever deficiencies are there, and keep improving. Thank you. No, it gives the PSLV a very significant advantage over many other launchers, first by virtue of being able to carry, see as you are aware, smaller satellites, they, they cannot go alone. They require to go along with some other uh, satellites, whether it is big or small. So if the launch vehicle takes it to only one orbit, the number of opportunities available for these smaller satellite people to get into orbit gets reduced. That's where this particular capability of the launch vehicle to put it into multiple orbits uh, is that definitely a big advantage? Okay, how cost effective it is depends on how many customers come to you. So the very fact that customers are coming to us shows as far as they are concerned, they are getting a good deal. No, that's why I said I don't want to get into the numbers because they are a lot of significance. But only thing we can definitely tell you is the very fact that customers want to come and get launched on PSLV shows, as far as they are concerned, it's an effective vehicle for time and money.
I think I would like to avoid this particular topic uh, today. Today, let us get on with uh, whatever PSLV C40 and related things. Yeah, maybe we'll ask our center director of ISRO Satellite Center. Acha, he is coming a little later. Yeah, basically what is there in that is 100 satellites covers all the students. There we have it, uh, press conference happening live with regards to the Indian Space Agency ISRO's 100 satellite launch, which launched about 90 minutes ago with 31 satellites, including three from India.